and the 11, and this is the classic edition right here on Channel V. Now, Danny has given me a tour here at Homebay because this is my first time. I've been backstage, I've been front of the line to go into a Wii, and now I'm shopping as he picks out some sunglasses for me. But another cool thing I've done is checked out the cinema here. It's pretty odd that there's a cinema at a music festival, but there it is. And somebody, thank you, Danny, that you won't be seeing at the cinema, but you will be seeing on stage is Noah Taylor performing with his band, The Sloppy Boys. Can't help but notice that you basically are in next to nothing. Oh, yeah. You've dressed up as a teddy bear, you've gone for some effort, man. Is this real hair? No, it's not, it's a wig. No way. Don't tell anyone, but. What about if the weather miraculously changed and it starts pouring down rain? What will you do then? Cover up. It's the Hi Mum, I'm on TV approach to making television at Possibly a festival. Possibly they could be thinking they're going to get discovered, who knows? Whoa! Welcome to WTF. Now coming up on the show today, we'll be giving away free tickets to Soundwave. It is that day. I am so excited because Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1 will be released in cinemas tonight at midnight for us. But lucky for you guys, we're giving away 10 copies of the Twilight soundtrack and all you have to do is text us on one triple nine sixty nine sixty nine and the first 10 people to text us will score yourself a copy. Guess what? Look who's sitting next to me. It's Sean Stack. <laughs> I am hanging out with the man Stan Walker and um, your physique is just banging from what I can tell. Ooh, ooh. Is Bland the new black? No way Jose. The masses, real people, they crave fun, excitement, controversy, and above all, just good old fashioned entertainment. There's one rule for celebrities and one rule for us plebs. And you know, with the alleged reports of Taylor Swift's topless photos, and now Lindsay Lohan's doing Playboy, <laughs> it might not necessarily be a bad thing. So I pose the question, does an artist's career take off when their clothes come off. I find I always cry to like the songs that are linked to movies like Titanic, with Celine on my heart will go <laughs> on. Armageddon. Oh, yeah, I know, I'm fine with that, isn't it a shame? So I bet you're thinking at home, how do we prepare for a live show every Saturday morning on the Riff? Let me show you. It is unfortunately time for me to go, but make sure you tune in to WTF tomorrow from 4 p.m. because we've got the right clip of the week, all the cool, rad and weird stuff that we can find on the internet, and of course, music news as it happens. Peace out.